All right, what is going on guys? Today, we're gonna be doing uh, my first drift build in the game. So this is the Horizon 3 demo, and it's super cool because you can actually do car customization in the demo, which is awesome. Uh, these are the cars you get when you uh, when you fully complete all the races in the demo. You can pick any of these cars, so that's, that's really awesome. But I'm gonna be doing the, the Ford Escort. Uh, I think this would be a super cool car to do a drift build on. There's not really anything super great to do a drift build in the demo. Uh, I would love to do the Subaru, but uh, I think the the Escort would be cool. So we're going to be going ahead and jumping into this. Uh, I am really excited to see how the drifting and stuff like that is in the game. How it feels and all that. Um, let's see what kind of visual upgrades we got. Some cool new stuff. That's awesome. I want to take off those lights first. I think that's the hood. But I'm curious to see how, uh, you know, how it feels and how the game is. What? Okay, so that's off, and then the bumper has those weird lights. Okay, okay, there we go. I like I like how it just looks stock, but maybe we'll throw some we'll throw some arrow on there. It is a drift car in the end. Man, this thing's got a bunch of stuff here. I do like that one i like this one but uh anyway i'm curious i'm really curious to see how how it handles and how the new drift suspension is and i'm, I'm also curious to see how much angle we actually get with the drift suspension that's one thing i'm 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 curious about i haven't looked through the wheels in this game yet either looks like most of the same stuff from uh from the previous game try and find something with some nice deep dish Hopefully, maybe some Volks. Eh? No, nah, I don't like them. Let's go some multi-piece wheels. Find something. Yeah, a lot of a lot of wheels back from Horizon Three. It's very interesting. Let's see. I always hate finding wheels for cars and stuff like that because, like, on the video, it's just like doesn't really look. I don't know. It's there's something different about like watch, just like watching me scroll through these stuff. It's not very entertaining, but for me, I like looking at all the different wheels and stuff like that. Should be able to find some good ones in this section. I do actually like these HREs. I'm gonna throw those HREs on. I think those look cool. And then let's go ahead and we'll skinny up the tires because we are doing some drifting. And then uh, obviously take off. Oh, they got drag tire compound now in the game. That's very interesting. Okay, okay. We'll go ahead and put some street tires on. And we are going to swap the thing to rear wheel drive. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm curious about the engine swaps. So it's got the turbo rally swap in it. I'm not sure if I want to keep that or if I want to build the stock motor. How much, how much power we got? 545. We'll leave it in for now and then we'll see how it is when we're actually like out and driving around. So I'm pretty sure it's got all this stuff on already. No, it actually doesn't. I'm glad I checked. Okay, so we'll put that on transmission. Oh, it's because I just uh, I just changed the powertrain. That's why it's not on there. Okay, so we'll do that, and then performance, race brakes, and then it's got the rally springs on. So we'll throw the drift springs on, and this is supposedly gives us more angle. It also cambers out the front if you see. That's pretty cool. And then it should have this stuff on. I can see that the roll cage is already in it, and it's got the weight reduction. Awesome, power wise. Oh, they got more upgrades to the Turbo Rally now. It's not just restrictors. That's cool. So we can actually put put a, a little more power into it. That's neat. I'm glad they did that. Oh, a lot more power in 668 out of the Turbo Rally. Let's go. All right, and that's done for the build. And then I guess I hope that we can do uh, do some tuning on the fly so I don't have to come back here every time to to tune the vehicle. That would be kind of kind of bad cuz I don't I don't actually know I don't actually like know what I'll need to do in this, but I guess to start off, I am just gonna lock out the diff. So that's the best thing to do on a drift car. And then other than that, so I'll put the arrow to speed so we're not gripping up in corners. Other than that, I don't really know what else I would change. So we'll just go ahead and leave it all, leave everything else how it is, and just try and go around and uh, do some drifting in this thing and see how it feels. There is a drift zone up near the top of the demo that I'm just going to set a waypoint to and we'll drive out over there. Because I want to go drive, I want to go do this road. So I think it goes down, so we'll go hit it from this side. 
And we'll go go up and down that road a couple few times and see how it feels. Feels pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Man, it has no grip on the on the dirt there. Wow. All right, I'm s I'm just gonna apologize in advance for my sloppy drifting because uh, the handling is a little different in this game, and I don't think I've ever had a drift build for this car, so it's gonna take me a bit to get used to it. But I'll try. I'll try and do my absolute best. I like this drift zone though, this is super cool. Let's see what that got us, 72,000. New personal best, obviously, because I've never done it before. Two stars, all right, so probably 75 or 80 is the, uh, the three stars on that one. But I do want to go all the way down this little hairpin section here and see how this feels. Oh, don't, go. don't track my average. I'm, I'm doing drifting. It's going to be the slowest speed zone ever. That's actually kind of cool that they put the speed zone on this road because that means that as long as you hit the things, you're not going to hit any traffic while you're drifting through this. That's interesting. I wonder if they did that on purpose or if they did that on accident. Dang, that also makes me wonder wonder though if because uh, if you're in an online session now it there's no player collision so I'm curious that but but there is if you're in like a session with your friends so I'm curious if you're in a private session and you enter the zones if you can't hit people because that kind of suck because tandem is fun because you can like rub doors and stuff with people it's not fun when you get close and you just kind of, it doesn't matter, you just go through them. So I'm, I'm wondering if you could even do that on this road. Although this road's not really super great for tandeming, I will say. Man, it feels good though. I'm excited. Try a different angle out for a second. Pretty neat. Curious too about how much steering angle, angle do we actually get out of this uh, drift suspension? Dang, that is that is quite a the bit. Wow. Will lose you if you drive backwards or leave the zone. Sorry. Oh, my bad. Just gonna go down a little bit and then come back up, do this drift zone again. Try and get a uh, try and get three stars on it. Yeah, look at that angle. Wow. You get easily re reverse entry in this game. Man, you have like no traction though. It's great. It feels good. This looks great too. traffic right here. Why are there so many Drivatars here? What the heck? What is going on? The 22B. I want it so bad. It's a good little drift road here. I like this. It's freaking beautiful during the daytime, too. Curious too how far we can go because we're probably close to the edge. Okay, no, we can actually go pretty far there. Wow. Yeah, this road doesn't. I'm. That's why I'm so excited to actually like. I didn't mean to click that. To actually learn this map and drive around in the full game because like 
you look at this road I just drove and it's just like, that doesn't look like anything crazy. That doesn't look like anything cool at all. But the road itself, like actually driving it was super fun and it was perfect for drifting. So I'm, I'm super excited for stuff like that. Cause you, all you really see when you look at the map is like areas like this with like clearly turns that you could drift on or like stuff like this. But it's those weird roads like this one where you, it doesn't really look like much, but it's, it's perfect. That's what I'm excited for. Like this road probably be super fun for like a high speed drifting, stuff like that. And I'm also curious to drive around the whole map and unlock everything so I can see what's dirt and what's not. But yeah, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's flip around and uh, go back the other way on that because I really like this section. Try and throw a little bit more angle too. I forgot that I, I forgot that these cars with the new drift suspension actually have crazy angle, so. I don't really have to like baby it with angle. I can actually throw some pretty crazy angle. That's nuts. Try and get a little bit of speed going up into this corner. And traffic's gonna bone me. Come on, game. So many Drivatars, please don't do that. Drivatars are cool, but like when you're actually trying to just drive, look at the map, look at the map, look at this corner. What the heck? There's a million of them. Like what is going, why did he stop there? What is happening? All right, let's throw some crazy angle. A little too much, a little too much, got a little too ambitious trying to test it out feel how much I can actually throw that's a three star if I've ever seen one come on give it to me damn it what's three stars on this oh, I think it just showed me but I paused 90,000 wow Wow! I'm actually curious to like throw a better tire compound on this and then drift and see see the difference. Ooh, that was a nice little drift there. Valencia driving. I love drifting and like trying to stay in the lane. I think it's cool. I'm so excited for the full game. This is going to be so cool. I think this is actually going to be the edge of the map up here, but we'll just drive and see if, how far we can go this way. Dang, I was hoping that was pavement. Because this looks like a super fun high-speed section here. Oh, we can drive over here, okay. But I think this intersection here is going to be the, uh, that's going to be the edge of the demo there. Man, this feels so great. The game probably doesn't look that great coming out on YouTube because it gets really, like, pixely and stuff. But, wow. Definitely, definitely play this yourself. I mean, it's the demo, so it's free. You just got to play a little bit so you can get to where I'm at and actually upgrade cars and stuff like that and have all the cars unlocked. But wow, this feels great. And it looks it looks amazing too. I mean, I don't even have like, I'm not even playing on my PC right now or I'm not playing on Xbox X. 
and it still looks awesome. I was really kind of worried, and then also I was kind of I was kind of worried about like how it would feel frame wise because it does on the X it does run 60 frames, but on the S and the Xbox One it runs 30. I think on the S it runs 30. Yeah, but it feels fine. It just feels just like the other game. And I definitely am noticing that it's not dropping frames as much as Horizon, as Horizon 3 would on the, on the Xbox. It's something that if you only play on the, on the Xbox, you would notice. You wouldn't, you would never notice that it would drop frames a lot. But I played, I played it on my PC for a while in 60 frames. And then I really noticed how bad the frames were on the Xbox. So it kind of makes me worried to try it out on my computer in a little bit. But I really do want to try it out. Man, this feels great, though. Just bang and limiter. 120 miles an hour. And again, I was gonna throw some. I was gonna try and throw some crazy angle inside right there with that freaking drivatar. Sixth gear drift in right now. Man, this feels awesome. Definitely, definitely go try this out for yourselves. Super fun, super awesome, super beautiful. This thing actually is surprisingly a pretty good drift car. I'm, I kind of wasn't wasn't expecting it to do that great. Uh, I'm really glad that they put the drift suspension in so you actually have like some decent angle with cars. It's not like that's definitely not like Horizon Edition drift car angle like Horizon 3, but that is definitely a lot better than like normal cars because the normal cars, they would only turn like that far. It really wasn't much. So having like a double that now with the drift suspension is super awesome. But uh, anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel like doing. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And as always, guys, excuse my burp, and I'm out.